Hello and welcome to a new video about virtual reality VR. Let's talk about some requirements we have if we want to do proper VR. Okay? We said, yeah, well, VR, it's sort of a continuum. We want to be as virtual as possible. That's virtual reality. Therefore, we have different requirements. One requirement is the so-called immersion. What does it mean? Well, usually it means to, to put something into liquid, cover it with liquid, totally, just under, under the liquid. And this is exactly what it means. Now it's not the liquid, now it's the virtual reality. We really need to decouple from the real world. Okay? That's the goal of immersion. The decoupling of the real world. All our senses, all our things need to, to come from the virtual reality. Yeah? Quite easy is sight and already not that easy is, is hearing. Yeah? Then you need noise cancelling headphones and so on to be really decoupled. Yeah? And the, the haptic, the feeling, this is also, and, and, and the, uh, the smell, taste, this is really hard to immerse. Huh? So this is, this is one goal, huh? simply. One requirement. To do as good as an immersion as possible. To simply totally sink into the virtual world. Forget decouple from the real world. Okay? Forget about the real world. Then another requirement is plausibility and interactivity. To make a virtual world as good as possible or as plausible or as feelable as possible to make the immersion better, eh, you need you need the actions which are in there need to be plausible yeah? in that context and also interactive. Okay? So we need somehow to, to see what is happening. Yeah? If I'm pulling a pen, yeah? I want to see it move in the virtual reality. If I'm pulling a virtual pen, I want to see it move. If somebody else is pulling something or throwing something, it needs to look like it's just landing here. Yeah? So as better I'm allowed to interact with the world, as plausible my actions are executed in the virtual world, the more the immersion will be. Yeah? Because then I feel like I'm really there yeah? in this virtual world. If something is absolutely implausible and just stupid, yeah? it's like in a movie. Yeah? Plausibility and interactivity are keys to this, to this feeling that I'm there. Okay? And the third one is the details. Yeah? Detailing. The more details I have in my virtual world, the realer it looks to me. Okay? And actually this is the goal, because if we want a perfect immersion, yeah, it needs to be detailed. Yeah? This means I do not only have to focus on the task, yeah? this means I really have to also focus on the small things. Yeah? And these then also need to be plausible. Yeah? If there are a lot of butterflies flying around, <laughs> well, if it's 
it's detailed, but is it plausible? We don't know. Yeah? To make the, the effect perfect, yeah, it needs to be detailed. Yeah? There our modern machines are helping us. Yeah? Modern virtual realities are sometimes incredibly detailed. Yeah? The plausibility, it's... You know, these are two different things. Yeah? If there is a very detailed, I don't know, a tree with a lot of leaves and details and pa 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 and looks perfect, yeah, and then it just moves stupid, huh? this is not good. So, if it comes to terms to level the, the, the power of your computer, yeah, it you have to find a middle way into the details and plausibility. If you make it too detailed, yeah, you cannot let it move plausible anywhere because you don't simply have not enough power uh, to calculate all the small details. If you have it very plausible and and not very detailed, yeah, so if, it, if a ball is not looking like a ball but you know like some dumpling, <laughs> then. It's also not good. Yeah, you have to find some middle way. Okay. These are the requirements. Hmm? Immersion, plausibility, interactivity, detailing. Huh? Details. Next time we're going to talk about what things we need to get to this goal. Yeah? What hardware can we need? Yeah? What software? Yeah? How is this working? Yeah? This will then be explained in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.